what's up YouTube it's your girl Nika and I'm back again with another story time story time story 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 time and today's story time is going to be about my first college Halloween party this was in back in 2000 and I want to say I got out of graduated 2011 2012 2013 I was going to Blinn Community College in Texas now at Blinn Community College I was having a great time and there was around the time of Halloween there was a Halloween party that me and my friends went to so I didn't have a Halloween costume per se so I decided to make my own Halloween costume I don't know what got into me to even think about making this Halloween costume but I did and the Halloween costume I decided to do it was a sexy mommy the picture is right here do you do you guys see do you guys see how that looks do you guys see how I looked ridiculous. I literally like that. The material that was on me was literally like, um, you know, when you sprain your ankle or your wrist, you wrap yourself up in that that bandage. I took a whole roll of that bandage that I did not buy. I got it from some, one of my friends. She had it for some reason, whatever, in her room, and I bandaged myself with that. Now it comes with little clips, so I had to clip each little clip and at the time as you guys know I have hips and butt and boobs and stuff so I had to clip it tight enough that it won't pop off but literally I was so afraid of it going pew 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 everywhere all the clips that I was like literally walking like this oh. he needs some milk I know I looked ridiculous right literally holding my clothes together while walking and then try to crisscross my legs in a certain way so that way my hips don't pop open onto this clothes and then I took you know like that fake they had like that fake uh, cobweb thing it's kind of like netting that you throw over bushes to decorate your yard for Halloween I took that and I tied up a bow in my hair and I just try to do something with it so I could look like I was I had cobwebs on me and I was like a real mummy. But what mummy you know is not wrapped head to toe. I didn't have on no bra, or did I? I had on underwear and a pants underneath that. So in case anything happened, it would be no problem. Fast forward to us leaving the house and we get to the party. We get to the party, I'm in there like, woo. <laughs> You know, walking up my waist like a real Caribbean girl. In a party having fun, and I don't know what possessed me. I don't know if I was drunk. What possessed me to take my scrawny behind up on that stage? The party was packed. Hot and packed. Hot and packed, hot and packed. Okay? And it was a bunch of people there. Now, everybody knows when a party is packed, people sweat okay you smell like musk if you don't put on no deodorant dirty nasty people but I had put on deodorant but the problem was I was on my period yes I went to a party on my period yes I know you was gonna be like oh my god Nika, why would you do that why would you go to a party on your period a lot of women go to the party on a period just some women don't feel comfortable some women do it don't matter as long as you know how to control it and you know how to clean up yourself properly and you know what to do it shouldn't matter whether or not I'm on my period at a party or not it shouldn't matter but in light of this story, I'm going to say I shouldn't have went. Now, I am about, what, 17 at this time. I shouldn't really be out. 17, 18, I shouldn't really be out partying. But I graduated high school on earlier, so I'm like, Hey, college life, let's get it. Mm, let's get it. Ay. Let's get it. Let's get it. Ay. I'm in the club just having a good time. I go up on the stage. Mind you, I have my period, and my retarded self forget to bring extra tampons. Forgot. No tampon, no pad, no nothing. So I get up on the stage, and I'm like, hey, 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 dancing. And there's this guy below me, because this is the stage, and this is me. 
on the stage. And then there's this guy below me. Like he's looking at me like, oh yeah, go girl. And it was a white guy, okay? And the closer he got, the more scared I got. Cause I'm like, yo, I'm on my period. Like, what am I doing down here? Like, what am I doing up here? Like, I need to get down. He got closer, and I promise you, I promise you this was his reaction. I was so embarrassed. I was so embarrassed. That was his reaction. But I thought it would, I really, I was like, oh my gosh, do I stink? Like, that's unbelievable. That was the worst thing I've ever did in my life. I was so embarrassed about that. But then the dude turned around to tell me, and he was like, oh, I'm just joking. I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing with you. I'm like, really, nigga? That is not funny. That is not funny. So my confidence was shot. I ran off that stage, and I'm like, yo, I gotta go to the bathroom and check myself out because, like, listen, you know, chemical imbalances, and you know, but, uh, you don't want any, uh, no. So, went to the bathroom, and what women do when they don't have tampons, this is all a secret, I am going to spell a secret, I'm sorry, ladies, men, if you don't know, if it's a dire, dire emergency, and we cannot get to a tampon pad, whatever it is at a time, you roll up that toilet paper like you're going to wipe your butt. Just roll it up, roll it up, roll it up, roll it up, and you stick it in your underwear. That way, the blood will seep through the paper and not your underwear and your pants, and then you got blood all over the place. Now, on the way to the bathroom, I jumped off the stage on the way to the bathroom, and poop, poop, poop. Like I said, the pins start popping. I'm literally running. <sighs> to the bathroom because I am about to be exposed all over. Not only am I going to be bloody, I'm going to be exposed because the pins on my skirt, the pins on the shirt that I created, are just going to go poop, poop, poop. So I'm running and I can hear the sound of the pins falling off. And I stop and I'm like, oh, sh oh, sh oh, sh oh. Sh so I'm looking around, so I'm looking around looking for the pin, can't find it nowhere because there's so much people in there, it's so packed, I couldn't find it. So I said, you know what, forget it, forget it, forget it. Let me go to the bathroom and figure this stuff out. So I went to the bathroom, I realized I was missing like four or five pins, and I just start tying the bandages together, tying them together, and I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm going to be naked, I'm going to be naked. But technically, I still had a top, but my skirt was going to fall off. After tying it so many times and I couldn't get it, I just ripped it off. I said, you know what? Forget it. Costume done. Party's over. I want to go home. It's over. No. I, 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 pineapples. Like, really, pineapples. That's, that's, that's really how I felt at the mo a moment. I just, I didn't, <clears throat> no. So, I took off the skirt. I had on my little short pants on and needed it. Thank the Lord. Jesus that I brought short pants and I kept the top on because I didn't have on no bra and if I didn't keep the top on then I'll be like literally showing my boobs to the entire world. I'm just walking around this party like nothing happened. Toilet paper in the underwear. Freaking no clothes on. I have a bandage and some shorts. I was naked. Technically naked at this party. Walk around seeing people and I just went off in a corner somewhere. And I don't even remember what happened that night. I just went off in a corner. I sat down somewhere and I was just like, don't move. Don't even think about it. And I asked my friend if she had a tampon. She's like, yeah, she has a tampon. I actually went outside, changed myself outside behind a truck. That was so ratchet. But I didn't really want to run back inside to go back into the party because there was so much people. And once you go out, you know, some parties, they're like, Oh, oh, once you go out, you can't come back in or you're going to have to pay some money. Pay what money? Me is a college student. Me pay you to go back inside and use bathroom. But look, stupid. So I left. I went outside. I said, you know what? Time to huff it. You got to go. You got to go. So what you do? You stoop down behind something, behind a tree, a bush, a plant, or whatever. And you go. That's what I had to do. So I went. I stooped down. I changed real quick. Used a new tampon and went home. At that moment, I realized I am never going to a party on my period again. I hope you enjoyed my story time. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more story times, more challenges, and I'm coming up with pranks soon. So.
So if you want to see me do a prank or anybody, let me know in the comments down below. Also, add me on all my social medias. Right, right there. Just, just click and add. Just add me. Please follow, 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 follow. Share to your friends. Anyways, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the little bell. That way you can know every time I post. So don't forget you always got to be slay to the gods, be to compete, and always on fleek. Thanks for watching.